So where do we start? Okay, so as I said, we're starting with basics and we're gonna start with some basic bottoms because then from that, we can really build on top of it. So what Catherine, what we've pulled out here are a couple different jeans and we've talked about, so we've got a pencil leg, which is in a darker wash versus a boot cut, which is in a lighter wash. Just for information, the darker leg, the darker wash tends to be more for going out, it's a little bit more formal, and this is more of a casual. And then typically what, what I say is it's important to have two different styles of jeans that you can wear depending on the shoe. So you're gonna wanna have a pair of jeans that you can wear with flats, and then you're gonna wanna have a pair of jeans that you could wear with a higher heel, depending on your comfort level and what you're doing. So the funny thing is I actually have a lot of pair of jeans, but I don't have a lot that I think fit me right. Mm -hmm. yes. So then I always go to the ones that I'm wearing right now, <laughs> as opposed to exactly. getting multiple different and kinds, or I don't even know how many pairs should you have. It sounds like you should have two, two different styles. Two different styles. Styles, and and color more than that. So okay. when you, if you want to be able to open your closet door in the morning yes. and just get dressed, yes. then you need to have enough pairs of pants that if one's in the laundry, you're not searching through the laundry basket at eight o'clock in the morning before the preschool bell rings. So and they have to both be the ones you love to wear versus ones do. that you don't like wearing, which is what and I have, have right fit. now. Yeah. And so you know, a good boutique will be able to get you into the right pair of jeans and consult on what fits. It needs to fit tight when you are in the fitting room, which I think a lot. Mm -hmm. of mothers have a problem with and feel a little bit self-conscious of, but the reality is when you walk out, they will start to stretch out immediately. So these jeans have a little bit of elastic and a little bit of stretch in them, which are great. I'm actually wearing this pant right now. And this um, has a little bit of a higher cotton content, but Laura's absolutely right that both of these work and they have different purposes. This jean, which is a little bit darker, could go from day to evening swapping out tops, which is sort of the versatility that we're looking for. And another thing that we've picked out here for you uh -huh. is a trend, a really hot trend right now, which are colored jeans. I don't, I don't How know do you if feel I could, about these? I don't know if I could carry that one off. I mean, so I, I think I love Catherine, the color. You have a lot of people that are coming in right now. To we have a lot of people. This pant in particular has been very popular. It's spring. This is a cropped pant, but if you don't want to go for color. There's other options that will still keep the trend going on. No, I love the color. I just don't know if I could do it on the pants because I yes. don't know how to mix and match. It sounds like you get a lot more tops and just a few bottoms. So yes. if I just had those, I would be worried about right. how I many mean, different things could I get. There's to go not, with, it. with a colored pant, it limits the versatility. You know, yeah. you could wear this with a black top or a white top, but. I think for you, we should stick with color on top and okay. more basic colors on the bottom. And again, for moms, I mean, something that, that I like to do is really look through fashion magazines, look at fashion blogs, and colored pants are very popular right now paired with really colorful tops. Yes. So that might not be something that somebody would be ready for, so to pick a trend and just kind of stick with one, like a colored jean or a bright colored shirt. Pick one and go with it if you're yeah, more, that's if that's more of your comfort level. And then one of the last pants that we've picked out so is a great. white jean, which is something that I'm wearing today. <laughs> and it's fun for as you're going into spring and summer, it's a little bit different than the regular mm -hmm. um, denims that you're wearing. So what about moms going to the playground, wearing white, kids with juice? You, know, you can I, wash them. <laughs> you can throw things in the washer. Most mothers are in a washing machine. But yeah, very I awesome. will use say, it often. Um, mm -hmm. you know, it, you don't have to wear your white pant on the day that you know that you're meeting your friends at the playground. But you could wear a white pant when you know that you're going to meet a friend for lunch. I mean, our philosophy at Helena's is you get dressed in the morning and that outfit should take you through the day. But if I was going to the playground, I would wear my dark jeans. Okay. You know, white can go back to any color. You could wear a really bright, beautiful, colorful solid top or print top and this looks really fresh. And this is a great trend to, to kind of access that isn't too outside your comfort zone. Yeah. Great. Well, I'll try those too. And last is a skirt. I don't know if you want to talk a little yes. bit about so this as a favorite So we sell here. a lot of skirts at Helena's. We have a lot of separates that go back with to each other. Can I ask you a question about skirts? Yes. I don't wear a lot of skirts. Yes. And I tell you, I don't because of, I think right in the hip area and yes. the waist area, I feel kind of like it doesn't, it's not shapey enough. Is that just because I'm not wearing the right skirts or it's is it just like... not wearing the right skirts? And it can, you know, one really nice thing about this skirt is that it has a flat waistband, which means that tops will lay very nicely over the top. 
and you can adjust it around your waist to make sure that it has the right fit. That skirt in particular is really comfortable and very, very easy and flattering. But if skirts are not gonna be your go-to when you open your closet, stick with some pants because I, you know, what you want to get is the pieces that you're going to wear. Great. And I always have a rule of thumb just as a mom who works part time and then I'm also at the playground and I'm all over the place is that I usually, when I pick out something, I look at it and I say, is this something that I could wear to the playground? Is it something that I could wear to work? Or is it something that I could wear out at night? And if I hit two out of three and I also really love it, then it's something that's great. I do that with jewelry. I do that with pants and kind of thinking about the, the whole day because as Catherine said, you really don't want to have five right, different outfits that you're going to have yes. to change into during the course of the day. You mm -hmm. want to be able to dress it up and at the same time dress it, dress it, down. it down. Oh, that's great.